Green, black, and matcha tea all contain significant amounts of fluoride, but there's one caffeinated plant that doesn't. All caffeinated pure teas such as yellow, green, oolong, dark, black, matcha, and pure come from a single plant species called Camellia sinensis, which are fluoride hypoaccumulators. The plants absorb fluoride in high concentrations, and the older the tea leaves get, the more fluoride they can absorb. The groundwater and environmental pollutants are the key determinants in the amount of fluoride that the plants will absorb. Researchers found that Chinese tea contains the highest mean concentrations of fluoride at 6.83 parts per million, followed by South Korea, Kenya, Sri Lanka, and Japan. The mean concentrations differed among brands, types of tea, and growing practices, but matcha green tea had the highest concentrations across the board. The fluoride from the leaves is released into the tea that you consume and absorbed into the body in amounts ranging from 0.12 milligrams to 1.75 milligrams per cup. This means that between one to two cups a day of the teas with the highest fluoride concentrations could put you at the adequate intake level set by our health experts. On top of that, if you brewed the tea with fluoridated tap water and drank fluoridated tap water throughout the day, then you could consume double to triple the total amount of fluoride per day than you normally would. Many health experts argue that a safe upper limit intake for fluoride should be much lower. And they also strongly advise against adding fluoride to tap water or increasing our intake because of its links to decreased intelligence memory deficits, learning difficulties, and ADHD. I'm not here to tell you to stop drinking your tea, but if you want a caffeinated tea option without the fluoride risk, then look to mate, or even better, yopon. Yopon is the only caffeinated plant native to North America, and it's higher in antioxidants and polyphenols than other types of tea. To help you with this, I sell loose leaf yopon in both light and dark roast that I sourced from a regenerative farm in Florida that doesn't use any pesticides or irrigation. Comment yopon below and I'll choose someone to win a free bag of the tea. I encourage you to look through the data yourself to see how much fluoride is in each type of tea.